How has this whole experience changed you? Like, what, what have you? Wow, it has made me a better person in that I, it kind of shifted my perspective a little bit. I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, back in February of this year, February of 2015. Now, I had discovered a knot in my chest probably three years ago, um, as men are. <laughs> uh, I kind of thought, eh, that's uncomfortable, didn't worry about it. I was, um, I was actually working, I was either, um, I was doing something out on my farm, either cutting firewood or building something, you know, building, I've, I've had some other things and so I just some pressure on my chest and I felt this knot in there and I felt it and I thought, well, that's weird. And then I just, just ignored it, didn't worry about it. And I thought, eh, it'll go away or something, who, who knows. Last summer, it started growing. It got big enough to where, from being in, deep inside me, it was starting to press against the skin. And, um, and then, and I went, I went straight to a breast doctor, because I, I had a feeling. You know, I just kind of, deep down, and I guess I just didn't really want to believe it, because it's not me. I mean, everybody, I'm that guy. I am the guy that says, not me. That kind of stuff doesn't happen to me, so I'm not worried about it. And so I took four rounds of chemotherapy. They did it three weeks apart. And, um, and it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't fun, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, I was able to handle it. They said, two weeks, you'll start losing hair. And lo and behold, in two weeks, that stuff started just coming out. I, I sat right here at my desk and just pulled out chunks of hair. And so we just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to go through a long process. We took the clippers to it and cut the hair off. And the thing I'm going to try to stress, I'm going to speak to men's groups, is you feel that knot. Go get it checked out. It's and it, the thing about with us, I mean, it's not hard to find. You know, women, you know, they have different size breasts, but if it's deep within a woman, you know, they, they have to have that mammogram just to find it. They may not feel it till it gets out to the end, and and that's bad. Guys, I mean, you can poke around pretty quick and easy and find what's there. You don't have to have a mammogram. I mean, it's it's easy to feel if you've got a knot. And so it should be treated pretty quickly. My doctor, I asked him, I said, when do you think it became cancer? Do you think it was cancer? He said, you never know. It could have just been a cyst or something that became cancer. If I had come when I first discovered it, he said it wouldn't have been as big a deal. We could have just gone in there and cut it, but I wouldn't have had as near as cool of a scar. <laughs> if I had been too timid and just too embarrassed for it, I, I may be right now dealing with, you know, end of life things. You know, I would be taking chemotherapy because I took chemotherapy just as a precaution. And I look at all these people taking chemotherapy that they're praying they're going to survive. They're praying they're not going to have cancer anymore. And I almost got there. I mean, I waited way too long and, and got away with it. I got lucky.